Hi, my name is Dilko. I'm the head teacher from Chapel Town Academy. Um, this is my virtual assembly, effectively, for, uh, first of all, the open evening that's coming up, but also all about Chapel Town Academy itself uh, and about how successful we've been with our exam results and also our entries to Russell Group Universities. And you can see there from the quotes, we've got a very small, friendly atmosphere with a close-knit community, which we're very proud of. And we've also got a 100% pass rate in the last four years where nobody has failed at all. And if you want further information or more information, you can go to the website, which is the bottom of the screen, uh, chapeltownacademy.com, and you can see all about the staff and the subjects and what we're all about as well. So more information is related to exam results, which was in um, the summer of 2021. It was August. It was quite early this year. And as you can see there from the happy smiling faces that an awful lot of students got the grades that they needed to go on to university, either first choice or second choice, and a whole raft of different universities across the country as well. So it was a great day. <clears throat> Slightly strange in the fact that we we're obviously coming out of the back end of COVID, but it was a really, really lovely day nevertheless. Um, and you can see there from the exam success that we've had as well. <clears throat> So some quotes from some of our students from Chapter 10 Academy. They like the fact that it's really small. They like the fact that it's got really good exam results. And they like the fact that nobody fails when we get everybody through their exams. And also they like the fact that we promote and push going on to top universities with a competitive university program as well. And the teachers are really, really passionate about their subjects. Uh, as you can see from the picture there on the right hand side, the results there a couple of years back, um, they really are excited about moving on to their, their new destinations. A summary of our results from the summer, where 33% of students got A stars to A, all the way down to 100% that passed, like I said to you before, um, and also that we had an average grade of a B minus. Um, and there's a picture on the right hand side of, of somebody doing a bit of chemistry, which is a subject that I also teach as well. I think it's important that I do teach. If you want to find out more about our exam results in the past, the last official ones that we had were in 2019, where we were on 0.14 which was level three value added, and that counts above average, top 17% of providers in the country. Uh, we do believe that if we've had proper exams last year and the year before, we would have gone beyond that into the top 5% of providers. So we're really, really proud of that. And if you want to see that or our Ofsted report, you can click on the link below and it takes you to compare school performance services from the government. And you can see more information about where we're at uh, officially and um, in the last few years as well. So entry requirements are actually quite bespoke. We do take a minimum of a grade four across the board. However, most subjects you would need to also get a grade five in them as well, or in maths a grade six. So science, you need a grade five, maths, you need a grade six. If you don't quite make it with your English and your maths to get a four, you can do a reset, obviously, as long as it's not in those subjects that you're taking for your A-levels. Most people do two years with three A-levels, getting three good grades rather than four A-levels. But sometimes, particularly at the moment, you might need three years to do your course. Uh, and we can discuss that with you on your application as well. So bespoke entry requirements for each of the different subjects, but they're mostly five of the subjects that you're planning on taking or six in maths. One exception to that is a grade eight in further maths because it is very demanding and very challenging as well. But if you apply, the minute you come down and see us, we will talk to you about those entry requirements and discuss them with you at the time. <coughs> Excuse me. We also send people to top universities, including Russell Group and Oxbridge, and we have a competitive universities program. So we really are set up ready for you doing anything to do with veterinary or medicine or Oxbridge uh, candidates and thinking about those top universities as well, including the Russell Groups. So destinations 2021, you can see there that there's an outline of people going to lots and lots of places all over the country, uh, which extends across different places. Um, and that is an example of the kind of thing that we'll be doing for your courses and careers in the future. We'd like to talk to you about your career very early on and what you're thinking to do at university so we can prepare you in plenty of time for that. Our curriculum is based upon um, predominantly STEM subjects are the biggest subjects um, in terms of numbers, so biology and maths and so on are the biggest numbers. And this year we're running for the first time BTEC Engineering Extended Diploma as well as an extended diploma in health and social care, along with the other sciences as well. They are very popular subjects. We also do languages, which includes literature combined for English, German, Spanish, and then drama and theatre studies as well. And then we also have humanities, which includes economics, politics, and so on. Uh, so you've got a 
broad spectrum of different kinds of A levels that you can do with a couple of BTICs in there that are part of our STEM offer that we have as well. And you can also do something called the Extended Project Qualification, um, which is EPQ, and that can count towards points towards your university course. And a lot of students like to do that because it's basically a project on something that you like and you're interested in as well. We're very big on our mission, vision and values, academic rigor, personalization, and a strong community feel. If you come down and see us on the open day on the 3rd of November, um, and there is another one in February as well, you'll realize that we are very much into our personalization and our community, and we like to spend time talking to you and getting to know you as quick as we possibly can. Um, and you'll notice that that lines up very much with Minerva Learning Trust, which is also, uh, we are part of that trust along with Ecclesfield and Stocksbridge and Handsworth and High Stores and so on, where they believe in inclusion and independence, respect and success. And we very much believe in those values as well as our things to do with academic rigor, personalization and community. So please do have a chat with us that on the day. We can talk to you more about that. And then you can see our values, which are a bit independence because we do a lot of independent work. We're very compassionate with the, the staff and the students as well. And we understand that people sometimes have ups and downs, respectful and very resilient. Sometimes you will have moments where you really think you can't do something, but you just have to fight on through and we help build that resilience as well. And there are our core beliefs that we have. We do do trips, although we haven't done them for a while. Uh, because of COVID. Uh, but at the moment, <clears throat> I can tell you about trips that we've done in the past, which is Toronto and Paris and Madrid and Brussels and Budapest and Berlin and Andalusia. And we're planning on going next year to back to Madrid, potentially New York and even CERN in Switzerland to have a look at the Hadron Collider as well. So we're definitely big on our trips and enrichment. And there are lots of enrichment clubs that uh, can all the way range from things like football, uh, basketball, table tennis to jigsaw building or even knitting and things like that. Uh, so there's lots and lots of things that you can do as extracurricular as well. I have a strong pastoral support system that involves your form tutor and also a pastoral support worker called Jess. Uh, a progress leader is like a head of year. And then there's lots of well-being guidance from um, the deputy head and the assistant head teachers as well, who will give you advice all the way through to me as well. So there's a load of people that will help you out and look after you when you're here in our strong close-knit community, which is what it's really all about for us. It's all about having that community spirit. So next steps for you. If you wanted to come to us, there's two ways in which you can apply. You can either do it through... Um, Outside of Sheffield, you can do it through the Chapel Town Academy website, or if you're inside Sheffield, you can do that as well if you want to do that early, and quite a few of you have already applied through that, that method. You can also do it through Sheffield Progress, which is an online application system that we set up through Sheffield Schools, but that's just Sheffield Schools only. Um, it's not the other schools, in which case you'd have to use the email application address that we've got on, on the top of the page, web-based address. Um, we will then discuss it with you. It will probably be me that interviews you. We'll talk about your conditional offer and the grade you need to do each of those subjects and make it bespoke to fit to you. And we will then give you an offer, which we ask you to accept in two days if you are interested, which doesn't mean you're committed to us. It just simply means that you're in our system so we can keep talking to you as well and provide you with lots of information about various events throughout the year, which will include uh, MFL challenges, math challenges, quiz nights, pizza nights, and lots of taster sessions as well, which are all coming up. And on the 3rd of November, if you come down and see us, see us we'll give you a list of all of those different events that are taking place over the next year as well. <clears throat> and then the big day next year is Thursday, the 25th of August, 2022 is when you get your exam results which seems a long way off at the moment, but it will come around very quickly, trust me. And on that day, we do our enrolment. And as part of that enrolment process, between around about 10 o'clock and four o'clock, you just bring down your results, bring down your ID, along with an enrolment form. Uh, and at that point, we can then have a conversation with you about have you got the grades, okay? And just to reiterate, I think up here is about, we get 100% pass rate. Um, and therefore, we are able to look after you very, very clearly and carefully, okay? Take care. Hope to see you at some point in Chapel Town Academy. If it's not on the 3rd of November, then hopefully at some point afterwards and look after yourselves. Take care now. Bye-bye.